Hey everybody, how's it going? Derek Sims here. Happy to see you. Happy to show my face. Still kind of weird trying to figure this out, but you know, we're making do. Last week, I had a very random poll for you guys. Pick out any color that I had on the options, and it was black and white, purple, red, and blue. It was a very close tie between black and white and purple, but in the end, purple won just by like a couple votes. So thank you to everybody that voted. That poll, believe it or not, <laughs> was for me to create a house entirely of the winning color. I was actually hoping black and white would win, but I'm not mad that purple won either because purple is one of my favorite colors and I wanted to try it. So right now we're gonna have a walkthrough video I don't know who you are. Pay no attention to her. She's not part of the video. I got Derek Sims taking a nap on the couch in the living room. While he does that, we will gladly take a tour of this house. So as you can see, it is a two-story house. Very vivid gardening up front. The windows, oh my God. When I saw the purple one, and I had to pick every every little thing purple or something with purple in it. These windows did not come to my mind. They actually turned out pretty good for this challenge. Like, I'm not entirely mad. <laughs> so now, let's ever so slowly walk inside. We have our little entry. The sad part about this challenge is the flooring options. Like, there wasn't much purple flooring, so I had to make do. Got a little coat area. And to your left is the kitchen. And I said in my tweet that if they didn't have anything exactly purple, I will have something that is in the color family of purple, like pink or a magenta or some other kind of hue or shade of purple so that you can kind of tell it's got some different color variations in here I'm not mad I'm really not mad with how this turned out like I think this is very cute and it's very quaint I've never thought about using that sink before but I think that's actually kind of cute I just hate how it doesn't connect the cabinets, I guess. Otherwise, I'd love it. I didn't have enough space for a dining table, so I created this little room separator by creating a three-space wide island. Cool, right? <laughs> it may not look it, but that is a very, 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 very light purple bookcase. I don't know why it's under the stairs, but I just wanted something to fill the space, you know? I was going to do an aquarium, but they had nothing purple. And the point of this challenge was to create something with purple everything. Obviously, minus the stairs, because there's no purple stairs. So forgive me for that one, but, you know, you can't control some things. And right here, right at the base of the stairs, we have our little guest bathroom. Literally just enough room for a toilet and a sink very cozy. So now, here we have Derek Sims taking a nap on the couch. Yes, the game is paused while we're playing because I don't want anything to happen while I'm doing a walkthrough. You know, like I don't want the kitchen to catch on fire. I don't want him to electrocute himself to death or starve to death or anything, you know. He's safe and sound. Let's take a look at him, actually. Ain't he peaceful? Isn't he just peaceful? <laughs> anyway. Pardon the controls. I'm still trying to figure out how to play Sims in WSAD. We have our little living room. Nice and a little spacious. Fireplace. TV. Now, when I saw the fireplace options, I was a little disappointed. 
because I thought every fireplace option had purple, but no, there was like maybe five, three or five that would work. So key disappointed, but that's okay. The challenge is over with and I'm presenting the result. Don't like it? Oh well. And here, on the other side of that half bathroom, <laughs> we have our laundry facilities. I know this looks really weird. Pink, plum, pink. Like I said, if I couldn't find anything strictly purple, I would find it in its offset colors and hues and shades, tints, such as pinks. This works. And yes, the walls, believe it or not, even though they're rock, it has some purple hues in it. Same with the flooring. Don't believe me? Try it out yourself. Because, hmm. Yeah. And before we head upstairs and take a look at the second floor, let's look outside in the backyard. This backyard, I think, is very cute and very simplistic and just the right space for a little kid. Here we have our little patio set right off the back. Why is the mailbox at the back door? I'll fix it before I upload this. So in the backyard, we have a cute little garden here and a cute plant here. Yes, there is a gate, finally, finally a matching gate to this fence. The fence I'm actually kind of proud of. Like, I never thought about using this fence ever, but I think it looks really cute. The swing set, it has purple right there in the rainbow. Don't come at me. If it has purple in it, I can use it. I have a nice little seating area under the tree. God, that's, I think this is one of the best creations I've done to a build is having this little scenery under a tree. Like, I'm proud of it. And I'm also proud of this garden. I'm prouder of the one up front, but this I've never used. Neither did I up front, but I just, I love the gardening so much. I kind of suck at it, <laughs> but that that's just going to drive me crazy. Let's go upstairs. Do 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 All right, so here we are in the second floor. Yes, there is a bar. Yes, there is a hookah station or bubble blowing station, whatever you want to call it. I call it hookah station because it looks like hookah. Um, and then I thought about putting a camera here with a keyboard, you know, be like a YouTuber that does music. But nah, we're just going to keep the keyboard as is. Hopefully, whoever owns this will love playing the piano, right? And then here we have our little office. As you can tell, I really went over, did, I really went overboard with the plants. And that's cool because I didn't think there'd be many purple plants. Was I wrong? Bookcase. Hello. Matching couch and chair. Had that for the living room. Super excited. We have matching furniture. That's a rare find in this channel. Any of my videos, you rarely can find matching furniture. I think this is the first one uploaded that has matching furniture. <laughs> and as you can see, that weird decoration. I've never used that before. It's really, really weird, but it kind of fits in the space. I don't know how to explain it better than that. It just, it does. It does what it does, right? You get your little plant and then you get art deco. Finding art was kind of interesting because I didn't really want to put art in my walls, but I needed to fill the space up, so I kind of made do. Especially with that one. That one's just really awkward. And yes, that is a clear door to the bedroom. It's the Zen door. 
and welcome to your master suite. And yes, those are the same doors for the bathroom. Again, not many purple doors. It's okay. <laughs> oh, God. So, I was creating this space, the bedroom particularly, at work this morning. And I was asking all my coworkers, is it bad to have like six candles next to your bed lit? And they're like, no, what do you mean? So, I show them this and they're like... Those are my AirPods. And they're like, oh, yeah, that's totally fine. I thought you meant real life. Nope, I meant my video game. We'll see. Um, matching fireplace. Basically, I matched most of the furniture in this house. Yeah. And that... That is for meditating. Like, you want to be zen. You want to have some peace and quiet. You want to meditate. So, I put a little, a little something, something there, you know? And yes, yeah, speaking of a little something, something, represent what's been going on in the world lately has been very nerve wracking, scary, trying. And I just want to say to anyone watching that everybody is welcome on this channel. All color, all race, all color, all nationality, all orientation, every human is welcome. And I love you. And finally, we have the master bathroom. I'm really proud of myself for putting a little plant like that next to the toilet with a cabinet. I didn't think the cabinet would fit, but I'm really surprised it does. Barely. Again, forgive me for the camera options. I'm still trying to figure out how to do this kind of camera mode in WSED. That plant was hard to put on top, but it makes the space tying, right? Just like that. I really was impressed that this was purple and it fits just so perfectly in the bathroom. I love it. You know, I love this. Yeah, that ain't going to work, is it? <laughs> okay. Let's just end it with me sleeping. So it is a one bed, one and a half bath house, small backyard, pretty gardening. Does not include Derek Sims. When you find this house, if and when you find this house in the gallery, it will not have a sleeping Derek Sims. <laughs> I hope. Anyway, thank you guys for voting on that poll last week. It was truly really fun to do. And I hope you guys are staying safe out there. And I hope you guys are doing great. And I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And for that, I will see you guys next time. Whenever that may be. Bye!